Hello you beautiful person here, this is Chris from Techspert and I'm here with our fresh new OnePlus 7 Pro. We're going to do a full side by side with the last generation, the OnePlus 6T, to see if 6T owners should consider an upgrade to the 7 Pro. Of course the Pro in the title should give you a clue. This is the most premium device that OnePlus has ever done. There are some significant upgrades here compared with last year's model. So let's run through them, see which one might be best for you. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers! Now first up, if you thought the old OnePlus 6T was a bit of a beast, then boy howdy do we have a shock for you. Look at the OnePlus 7 Pro in comparison. It's the absolute Godzilla of smartphones. As you can see it's got a clear bit of extra height on top of it, slightly uh, girthier as well compared with the old OnePlus 6T. It's a 6.67 inch device compared with the old 6.41 inch OnePlus 6T. Now the OnePlus 6T wasn't particularly light but the OnePlus 7 has definitely got even more of a heft to it. It's uh, just over 200 grams so you'll definitely feel it when it's stuffed in your pocket. Of course flip them around to the back end and you get a very similar style in there, both glass constructed and of course you get this uh, lovely matte finish of both of them as well as the typical shiny hue as well. A couple of different colour options as well including the lovely limited edition almond here on the OnePlus 7 Pro. The OnePlus 6T is actually slightly hardy, they're both Gorilla Glass 5 on the back but the OnePlus 6T is Gorilla Glass 6 on the front whereas it's only 5 here in the case of the OnePlus 7 Pro, the reason for that being the upgraded display tech. The OnePlus 6T was of course super durable, we've had this thing for obviously months now and not a single scratch or scuff there on the back which is great to see. And of course the benefit of the matte model is the fact that you don't get all those horrible fingerprints and nasty grease marks all over it as well. Uh, and they're both water resistant as well though neither sports a official IP rating. And sad news for anyone who was hoping that OnePlus would bring back that headphone jack for the OnePlus 7 and the 7 Pro, that is missing in action. So once again you're stuck with a bit of Bluetooth 5.0 or one of those horrible dongly things. Now of course one thing you will notice uh, pretty much immediately about the OnePlus 7 Pro is the fact that you get that gorgeous front fill and display, no notches or other little bits inside. Of course there was only a teeny little nipple notch here on the OnePlus 6T so minimal intrusion anyway but also the bezels have been ever so slightly slimmed down as you can hopefully make out there along the sides and the bottom edge as well so it really is, it's, I think it's pretty much a 90% screen to front ratio, great stuff. The actual screen itself has been seriously upgraded for the OnePlus 7 Pro as well, it's a Samsung manufactured AMOLED so there's an AMOLED on the OnePlus 6T as well but now you've got full HDR10 Plus support, it's a Quad HD Plus panel compared with the Full HD Plus panel here on the OnePlus 6T. As you can see if you dive into the display settings you get a variety of bonus features as well so you can of course boost that resolution up full time to Quad HD Plus, so I'll have it auto switching. And you can also now change uh, the screen refresh rate as well, it goes all the way up to 90 hertz for a lovely silky smooth experience you'll see as you're just flicking about your desktops, everything is absolutely stunning, instant response, great stuff. As before you can completely calibrate uh, the colour output and everything as well, so as you can see we're on vivid output here at the moment um, on the OnePlus 7 Pro, you can of course dive into advanced and you've got the usual sRGB setting and everything as you had on the old OnePlus 6T, great news if you want nice natural realistic colours if you're going to be editing photos on the go, things like that. So the OnePlus 7 Pro undeniably boasts finer detailing in the visuals, although you do have to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison with the OnePlus 6T to really notice the difference. If you're just using the 6T on its own, it still seems absolutely fine, nice and crisp on that Full HD Plus resolution. On the sRGB levels, of course you get those nice natural colours, there's not really a massive amount of difference between the two. So the main difference is definitely slightly finer detail and, and of course you get that gorgeous refresh rate as well. However when it comes to video playback the OnePlus 7 Pro also sports HDR, format HDR10 Plus to be precise thanks to that Samsung design. So what you get is some really nice deep black, some strong contrast and again those great looking colours. So yeah anyone who doesn't want to see a giant guinea pig thing stalked by a leopard might want to look away now. Uh, but as you can see uh, Netflix of course you get that gorgeous HDR support, uh, really does shine in a lot lot of the, uh, the Netflix original content. Yeah, a lot of that nicer, finer detailing in those darker areas is particularly useful if you're a fan of the old Marvel TV shows because a lot of them tend to be quite murky and dark at times. But you know what, the old OnePlus 60 is still absolutely fine just for enjoying a uh, show or a movie on the go, so if you're not that bothered about uh, having the absolute best of the best in terms of the visual output, then the OnePlus 60 is still fine. As for the audio output, we actually get a full stereo speaker output here on the new OnePlus 7 Pro, uh, so you can uh, blast your media out of the top earpiece speaker as well as this bottom mounted doohickey as well, whereas on the old OnePlus 6T it was just the bottom mounted speaker that busted out a mono output. Let's just do a quick side by side with the audio. 
like the Google app, which is basically just a personalized news feed, then no worries, just jump on into the home settings and then go to display Google. That's OnePlus 7 Pro, here's the OnePlus 6T. And tick that box, then when you head back to your desktops, boom, no more Google feed. You'll notice as well that when a notification pops, so as you can see, in terms of uh, general volume and everything, OnePlus 6T is still uh, very impressive indeed. But of course, that output is blasted down away from your face. So it sounds a bit more muffled, not quite as full on and bassy as it does here on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Of course, I still wouldn't absolutely never listen to music via the actual built-in speakers. You definitely want to connect to your, uh, your Bluetooth speakers via that for a bit of that action. Full aptX HD support and everything as well, which is great stuff. And now what about the features? Well, both of these smartphones are running the latest version of Android, of course, a nice bit of Android version 9, or slice of pie as it is also known. And of course you've got Oxygen OS slapped nicely on top of that. It's a much fresher version though here on the OnePlus 7, 9.5.2, combined with the old 9.0.13 as we've got here on the OnePlus 6T. Both phones are fully up to date. The general settings and features and stuff are very, very similar on both smartphones. Of course, you've got your shelf feature. If you flip this way, that's fully customized where you can stick in your favorite contacts, favorite apps, all that sort of shenanigans. You've got a bit of one-handed help, at least, thankfully, as well. You can basically drag that down with a quick swipe down of your fingers across the screen. Thank God, because they're both quite beastly blows reaching up to that notifications bar. Not the easiest. Dive on into the settings, and you'll notice quite a lot of similarities as well. There are a few differences, too. So, for instance, you've got the digital well-being uh, Android feature now in the one plus 7 Pro just tells you exactly what you've been wasting your life on and you've got the wind down mode and stuff like that but uh, a lot of these features which I will be mentioning now should be coming to the OnePlus 6T in a future Oxygen OS update once the OnePlus 7 Pro is properly rolled out and everything. A couple of the other bonus features that you now get as well you get updated gaming mode um, so this now includes the Fnatic mode Fnatic mode which is a more extreme version basically no distractions whatsoever no notifications and calls everything in the background gives full priority to your games that's quite nifty if you want to get in the zone and you also get the zen mode which basically shuts down all major functionality apart from basically the camera tech and allowing you to make emergency calls for 20 minutes and there's no backseas on that either great stuff and of course you get a screen recorder function now as well so if you want an in-depth look at all of these great new oxygen os features on the oneplus 7 and the oneplus 7 pro i'm going to be doing a full in-depth tour and review of that so go check that out it should be live at the same time as this video in fact the oneplus 7 pro just like the oneplus 6t before it once again sports an end display fingerprint sensor it's once again just an optical sensor rather than a full-on ultrasonic sensor like you get on the likes of Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus, but it has actually been improved here on the OnePlus 7T. It's now a slightly wider area and also very fast and responsive. I mean, look at how good that is. I still get occasional misreads here on the OnePlus 6T. It's generally quite good, uh, but it does occasionally have its, uh, its, its odd moments. And as you can see there, even when it does unlock first time, sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, to be honest, but there you go on the OnePlus 7 Pro. They've absolutely sorted that out. It's so nippy and it never fails. And yes, both phones do support a bit of face unlock as well, though, of course, because you've got this full view display here on the OnePlus 7, that selfie camera is actually hidden away out of sight. So when you tap the power button, as you can see, it has to rise up out of the, uh, the actual chassis in order to recognize your face. It's very cute indeed. But despite that motorized action, as you can see there, tap the power button at the same time. The OnePlus 6T is only slightly faster than the OnePlus 7. There really isn't much in it at all. It's very impressive stuff indeed. Now OnePlus is unsurprisingly stuck with Qualcomm when it comes to the actual CPU. Um, so what you've got in here is the latest Snapdragon 855 chipset uh, backed by up to 12 gigs of RAM. This is the 12 gig version. Whereas the OnePlus 6T is of course the oldest Snapdragon 845, one year old to be, to be precise. And uh, it tops off at eight gigs of RAM, which is what we've got here. So as you can see, obviously in the benchmark and there is a clear difference between the two. The good news is the OnePlus 6T is still nice and nippy despite the fact that it is several months old and it's running a, a, a platform that is almost a year and a half old now, uh, but still very, very fast and smooth indeed obviously not quite as silky smooth especially thanks to that refresh rate as the oneplus 7 pro but it'll do the job for your everyday you know, functionality you will find the apps basically load up the second uh, you tap them very little hanging around they tend to be called a little bit faster here in the oneplus 6t than they were on the OnePlus 7, of course, uh, but overall, very impressive stuff indeed. And of course, the good news is you can play a nice bit of PUBG on either of these handsets as well, on those top detail settings. Of course, you enjoy the HDR graphics here on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and they've both got a nice bit of gaming mode action on the go as well. At the moment, it's the new gaming mode here on the OnePlus 7 Pro, which offers a variety of bonus features. Let me just turn off that delightful music. So you've got an even greater selection of settings, so uh, even more control over your notification playback, and of course, You've got the Fnatic mode as well, uh, which basically is a hardcore mode, cool 
handles all of your other background tasks and dedicates all the resources and everything to your gaming session. And what about the battery tech? Well, it's a bigger than ever battery on the OnePlus 7 Pro, as you'd expect, considering it's an absolute freaking beast of a handset. 4,000 milliamps compared with the older 3,700 milliamp OnePlus 6T. So far, touch words, very energy efficient. The OnePlus 6T was definitely a big step up for the series, give you over a day of use, even with pretty intensive everyday play time. Uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro, I'm expecting even better things, especially thanks to that really energy efficient Snapdragon 855 chipset. But stay tuned for an in-depth review on that. Of course, you do get uh, the usual battery saver modes and everything. And here on the OnePlus 7 Pro, you also get full support for the latest Warp Charge 30 compared with the old Dash Charge here on the OnePlus 6T. Dash Charge is still perfectly great. I'll uh, still get you fully charged up in an hour and a half. But here on the OnePlus 7 Pro, you'll get half charge in just 20 minutes. It is insanely fast. And while well, keeping the handset cool, just like the old Dash Charge. No wireless charging support or anything like that on the OnePlus 7 Pro. However, it's so no difference there compared with the 6T. And as far as the storage is concerned, well, you get 128 or 256 gigs uh, your choice basically depending on how much money you have to spunk of course one of the ultimate biggest updates here on the oneplus 7 pro is the fresh new triple lens rear camera setup compared with your dual lens setup here on the oneplus 60 you get a vastly upgraded primary lens it's this one here in the middle it's a 48 megapixel lens now f 1.6 with a sony imx 586 sensor and full built-in optical image stabilization the old uh, effort on the oneplus 60 was a 16 megapixel f 1.7 and uh, does have a bit of optical image stabilization built in there too but then while you also just get a simple 20 megapixel secondary lens here on the OnePlus 6T, you now get an ultra-wide angle lens and a telephoto lens here on the OnePlus 7 Pro. It's 16 megapixel ultra-wide angle and an 8 megapixel telephoto as in three times optical zoom and again yes you do have a bit of OIS in there. So as you'd expect the camera experience has changed up somewhat although the general features do remain the same. As you can see you can obviously switch between the uh, Ultra telephoto lens, three times uh, zoom there. You can actually jump all the way up to 10 times digital hybrid zoom as well, if you so desire. Um, otherwise, of course, you've got the standard lens and then you've got the ultra wide angle lens, uh, which is just a nice wide view of the world as well. All the uh, fan favorites are back in action. So once again, you have the brilliant portrait mode to keep your subject crisp while blurring out the background with a nice bit of depth effect. Nightscape has actually been updated here on the OnePlus 7 Pro to Nightscape 2.0. I'm not sure if this is gonna be rolling out to the 6T. Yeah, I'll have to confirm that with OnePlus, but basically you can expect brighter, more well-balanced shots here on the 7 Pro. And of course you've got full Pro manual controls. Uh, so you can once again play around with the shutter speed and everything, no difference in terms of all that. You can once again shoot in uh, raw images, uh, just like you could on the 6T if that's your bag. You wanna do a bit of editing on the go. And all the other usual shenanigans. And of course, if you jump into video mode, you can once again shoot 4K resolution footage at up to that beautiful 60 frames per second for a nice realistic finish. Of course, one of the advantages of that fresh new hardware and some of the software smarts as well is the fact that you get much more nicely balanced images in your everyday shots. The HDR images weren't particularly great here on the OnePlus 6T, but on the OnePlus 7, they definitely so far, from our initial testing, seem to be a lot better. You get a lot more texture, a lot more natural colors shining through. Swap to that front facing camera however and there is no difference basically it's once again a 16 megapixel front facing shooter the only difference being that it has this cute little pop-up motion now hello uh, but once again you've got full portrait mode smarts and all of that shenanigans so uh, you get a nice crisp shot of yourself as you can see the the angle of the shot and everything all looks very very similar indeed so not expecting any difference there at all so there you have it that is how the fresh new oneplus 7 pro stacks up against the older oneplus 6t so as you can see some serious upgrades there you obviously get the new oxygen os and everything that should be coming to the oneplus 6t but it's all about that triple lens rear camera tech the display is very very nice indeed you get the upgraded performance of course thanks to that snapdragon 855 bigger battery you now get a nice bit of warp charge as well so there are all kinds of upgrades there that make it worth the coin if you have plenty in the old bank balance. Are you tempted? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. It's always great to hear your thoughts and don't forget to poke subscribe and do that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest lovely tech. Mm.